I'm cutting into this piece of Rocky Mountain juniper to make a wooden ice cream cone because earlier today I came across a Rocky Mountain juniper that was just covered in some great looking berries. And of course I had to harvest some to bring home to try to make some juniper flavored ice cream. And I want to test between two different methods. Method one, blending the berries directly into a fully cooked ice cream base. And method two, simmering the berries into just ice cream and milk that I'll use to make the base later. Before we have our taste test, let's grab a piece of juniper wood and make that cone. Speaking of cones, juniper berries are technically cones, like pine or spruce cones. Not all species are edible though, so be certain before foraging. Last but not least, juniper wood has an incredible scent, very similar to cedars, so I'm having a good time here, if nothing else. And after adding an oil finish, would you look at that, a juniper wood ice cream cone. Now let's get to our taste test, starting with method one. <coughs> That like punched me in the face. Okay, fingers crossed for method two. Oh yeah, that's the ticket right there. 